Okay, so welcome to this first video um, about uh, ICT in agriculture and growing plants. Um, it's uh, one of the first topics that you've got to do about for the course. So what is ICT? Well, um, ICT stands for Information and Communication Technologies. It's a bit of a mouthful. But basically what it is, is it's using computers in anything. <clears throat> so ICT in, in relation to the course is about how we can use computers uh, to grow uh, plants. What's the advantage of it? When do we do it? Um, and why uh, do we do it? Um, well, there's there's lots of ways in which we can use uh, computers, but one of the main ways is to uh, monitor the conditions that plants grow in and hopefully create uh, better conditions for them. Well, I can do that in the garden. When my plants are too dry, I go out with a hose and I uh, give them a water. When um, the it's, it's too cold out there. I might put a tunnel on them to make sure that the frost doesn't damage their roots. So what's the difference between uh, myself doing this and, and a, a computer? Well, firstly, a computer will monitor the conditions all the time. I mean, I might uh, have a look out the window all the time and see whether it's too hot or cold. But there's only certain times that I can go out during the day. I'm a bit busy, so I can't get the plants cooled down and wet straight away. Whereas a computer will just send a message to say a sprinkler, get the plants nice and moist straight away and everything's hunky-dory. So the plant has better conditions to grow in all the time and doesn't have to wait for that um, uh, perfect condition. Another thing is that the computer will monitor all the, the growth, the uh, different temperatures, etc. And then in future we'll be able to look at the data and see, well, these are the best conditions for growing that type of plant. So by uh, analysing data that the computer has collected, you can then uh, decide on what are the best conditions, how you should set that computer in order to get maximum growth. And then of course as well, um, there's the labour side of things. When I'm out in the garden, I have to stand there for half an hour with the hose, watering it all. While well, the computer setting up a sprinkler, five minutes, the job is done, and it hasn't taken any time. You have to spend that extra cost at the beginning to buy the computer system and put it in. Once it's in, you save a lot of money. So those are the reasons why we use our computers, but how do we actually use them? Well, uh, this uh, picture by here shows you a glass house, and the conditions in the glass house can get dry, um, they can get uh, too humid if the moisture is trapped inside, Similarly, it can get too warm because there's a lot of sun, or too cool because the uh, windows are open and all the heat is leaving. So we need, inside a glass house, we've got to create just the right conditions to make those plants uh, grow better. Now, here we've got um, a small system where we're monitoring the humidity. We've got a sensor that measures how much moisture is in the air and detects it. You've got a computer which then takes in that data works out what to do, records it as well, and uh, decides whether a response should be made or not. And then in the case of humidity, you've got a sprinkler. So that's going to then create the response that is needed that it tells it to by the um, uh, computer itself. So what's going to happen? Well, the... Um, if it's uh, too dry, then firstly the window is going to close because what's happening is all the moisture is leaving out through that window. The <coughs> computer, which has been told by the humidity sensor that it's too dry, sends a message to the, um, uh, the sprinkler and the sprinkler switches on, giving a nice bit of moisture until the humidity uh, sensor recognises that it needs to be, it, it, um, it's getting wetter and the computer recognises that it has to be switched off. So that's how, um, sorry about that noise, that was my cat in the background, so I'm going to check her out in a minute I think. Um, <laughs> so that's how um, we measure uh, the computer's effect, uh, moisture and humidity. Um, incidentally, what is, why is the humidity that important? Well, Plants rely on water for several reasons. 
Um, for instance, uh, water is their transport system. It takes uh, nutrients up through their, from their roots to the rest of the plant. It um, brings sugars from the top of the plant down. And also, well, it gives them structure. They do have some fibers which uh, make them a bit stronger, but they don't have a skeleton like we do. Um, so they rely on water to give them firmness. You think of a balloon without water in it, or without air in it, it's very flimsy. That's what would happen to a plant. The leaves would fall down and it wouldn't be getting enough light. Whereas um, when you uh, think of a, a balloon that's full of uh, water or full of air, then it gives the plant maximum uh, structure, holding the plant upright and giving it the, 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 lots of uh, holding the leaves up so that there's a plenty of light. Um, as well, then, in this, this other example, we've got uh, the fact of well, what if it's too cold in the glass house? The window's been open for a while now. Maybe used to get rid of some of the moisture. There was too much. Um, so what happens then? Well, you're going to have temperature sensors which measure the uh, temperature. They will then uh, tell the computer, you know, what the conditions are, and the computer decides, right, okay, we need to open a window because it's too uh, uh, warm, these are uh, motorized windows, or we need to uh, turn on a heater in order to warm it up. And plants need the right temperature, too cold conditions can damage the, the roots in the plant, whereas conditions that are too warm can make it lose its water too quickly and it wilts, and as I said, that can affect the plant. So this, uh, that's, so why, why do we actually, uh, what's the benefit of this? Why, why not just, uh, um, why is this more than necessary uh, lately then? Well, this last um, uh, slide actually uh, sadly shows you uh, the reason why. It's a, a quote they've got from the Matrix where the, the um, uh, robot computer guy, Agent Smith, is comparing humans to a virus. And in a way, that's very true, sadly. Um, the human population is growing at a massive rate. We're up to 7 billion people on the planet now. And the, there's some countries that have a billion people alone, um, uh, particularly places like China and India. Um, some countries are very small and their populations are big. Um, others have areas that we don't want to destroy because of ecology. So just simply growing more and more plants over a larger and larger area isn't possible unless we really damage the, eco the ecosystems and the, the, the animals and wildlife. And, and even then, um, eventually we're going to run out of room. Uh, I mean, it's not the human population's fault. They're just uh, acting as uh, animals, as nature intended us to, and that is survival of the fittest. We try and help our young to survive, um, and we uh, breed to, uh, to pass on our genes. But sadly, we're too efficient at it, basically. So we've got to come up with systems in order to produce more growth, uh, more food, sorry, and hopefully, possibly over a smaller area. Um, and ICT is, uh, is the um, best way to do this. Of course, some would argue as well, and quite rightly so, that a lot of um, companies also do this to reduce their costs, to maximize their yields, and therefore make more money. And unfortunately, the human population probably runs on money a lot of it as well. And this is, you know, very much the case. But also, it does help ecology. It does help um, the uh, ecosystems. Sorry. Um, and uh, as a result, it will um, help uh, wildlife and nature because we can grow large amounts of food over a smaller area.